Right, I am here with the towering Roman Kvicklia, who is so much bigger than me. Uh, how tall are you officially? Yeah, I'm two meters, exactly two meters. So What's I that think feet? it's, it's uh, 6.56. Okay, I'm five foot six, so almost a foot taller than me. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we're here because you won brilliant performance there. Congratulations and a $50,000 performance bonus. How great is that? Thanks so much. Uh, really, I was waiting for this. I came here to to have uh, some bright uh, victory and uh, to, 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 to grab uh, the bonus uh, for sure. So I made uh, all what I can for this. It motivated me, yeah. Yeah, and now into the, the final of this uh, heavyweight Grand Prix uh, against the Raj as he's poor. It's going to be a rubber match there. How much are you looking forward to it? He's uh, very tough. He never was in uh, knockout, uh, but uh, uh, I, I, I predict uh, that I will meet him in the final. So this is my job. I will uh, uh, prepare for him, like for another opponent. So I cannot see some something uh, unusual in uh, his technique. So yeah, I'm ready, of course. Is it tough to? you know prepare for your own fight in the back while that fight is going on and your next opponent is there and you're, you're kind of keeping your eye on the tv or you're trying to block out that so it doesn't affect your performance uh you know for for now i want just uh, to have a rest uh, mind rest uh, maybe one week i will make some physical exercises and uh, will not think about uh, my future fight but uh, after i was, will uh, make a uh, tactic with my coach and uh, it's very simple i just uh, do what my coach uh, say and uh, this is my uh, usual job like uh, your job is to uh, to take interview. Yeah, um, I think your job's a little bit harder than mine. Uh, you've also got a, a light heavyweight belt you need to defend as well. So do, do you know when you might be defending this? Uh, is it is it hard to balance two divisions? No, it's not hard for me. I have uh, such weight uh, which uh, give me possibility to uh, to have fights in uh, two divisions. So my uh, normal weight is uh, 105. It's uh, easy for me to go down to light heavyweight and uh, uh, to fight in super heavyweight. Uh, so it's not uh, uh, it's not hard for me. And um, I don't know about uh, my uh, defense of uh, light heavyweight. I but uh, I hope it will be soon uh, so but for now I, um, I wait for final of Grand Prix and I hope after this uh, will defend um, my title uh, my title in the light heavyweight do you know when the final of this Grand Prix is have they given you any indication will it be the end of this year uh, yeah I hope so um, yeah I hope it will be maybe November or December uh, so I want it, yeah. Yeah, it didn't seem like you sustained too much damage, any injuries there tonight? No, everything fine, so I'm in perfect shape. I uh, can fight uh, on Saturday, our next, <laughs> <laughs> next event, yeah. Yeah, uh, does it give you extra motivation just with your country as well and what's going on in the world? Uh, does that kind of inspire you to fight for your people in Ukraine? Yeah, sure. It, it, it inspired me, it motivated me to show here uh, what can Ukraine. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I hope uh, that my example will uh, uh, motivate my uh, uh, guys from Ukraine and uh, uh, they will see that uh, they have victory not only on the military uh, area, but uh, in sports and everywhere. Uh, so uh, I'm very honored that I'm Ukrainian and um, I'm sure that it will uh, help to uh, guys from Ukraine to uh, to go ahead and it, I, I hope it motivates them. Yeah, I remember you had maybe the first fight week after the invasion in February um, and it was, must have been very emotional. Was it hard to kind of to, to get, you know, pumped up for that fight with everything that was going on? Yeah, it was uh, hard uh, f uh, mentally uh, shape uh, in the day because uh, the war uh, be begins in two days before my fight. But uh, I try to concentrate in my job, uh, and uh, of course, it's uh, sometimes it's uh, hard. But 
um, this is my job and uh, I can uh, do here uh, something for Ukraine and uh, this inspired me uh, so much. All right. Now, final question. How are you going to spend this bonus? Are you going to... We spoke to Tiffany Teo earlier. She got a bonus. She says she's going to have nice meals, drinks with her family and team. Have you got any plans? Oh, I have, uh, yeah, one week. <laughs> I think uh, it will be enough for one week. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect life. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, of course. Uh, uh, you never have uh, uh, a lot of money. It's, uh, uh, it, it's my job. Uh, I... I want uh, to grab all bonuses, all my fight, uh, I hope, will be with bonus. Uh, because uh, I think that uh, uh, the main my skill is that uh, my desire for win, to win. Uh, because I think nobody wants to win so much like me. That's why uh, I get uh, bonus, I think uh, this is the reason. I, I did forget to ask. I wanted to ask. Uh, we, we saw, you know, one has also brought in new drug testing partner as well, and we saw a heavyweight Croatian Martin Bator tested positive. Uh, is this uh, some, uh, something you're uh, positive about the, you know, the, the changes to drug testing, especially maybe at the higher weights that you're involved in? Yeah, I'm uh, for drug testing uh, uh, because uh, many people, many people in heavyweight, they use uh, some. I don't know medicine uh, and uh, uh, I think I, I'm for a fair uh, fight always and uh, I'm for this for sure. All right, I'm going quickly, uh, Champ. Thank you so much for speaking thank to you. us. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Cheers, bro. <laughs>